Tyke, it's good to see you, man. Congrats on being a part of Light. Your movie was awesome. Thank you, man. Of course. Buzz Lightyear was Andy's favorite toy in the first Toy Story movie, inspired by a movie within the movie. Do you remember your first favorite toy? Like, does it was it based on a movie? Or was it something else? Well, um, I have um, so Blue Ted is my uh, favorite toy, and he's a tiny little um, teddy bear that when I was three I found in a rubbish bin or trash can, um, and uh, and I took him home, and my mother gave him a bath. We gave him a bath, and she sewed up his little ear, and he's been with me ever since. Um, so that is 43 years I've had Blue Ted. So naturally, Blue Ted is gonna, it's, Blue Ted is due for a movie now. Yeah, yeah Blue Ted, Blue Ted the movie. <laughs> exactly, do you, do you find yourself kind of tapping into an inner child still when you're working on movies like Lightyear or Thor or any of the stuff you do? I really think it's out? all I've got. I think they're all I've got is my inner child. I mean, I think that's, uh, if you look at any of my work, I mean, if you look, even just hang out with me for more than five minutes, then, you know, you'll know I'm not the most mature person. But what is maturity? What does that even mean? You know? I think maturity is stupid. I've only ever had a good time when we're in the same room, so, uh, so I, I, I support the inner child coming out. Mo is a character in Lightyear who, when we meet him, he's scared. He's, a, he's labeled a quitter. I want to hear from you. What, have you ever had a moment when you're working on a film where you see like the enormity or the weight of a scene, or just going into production in general, where you've had that moment of like, oh, if I start this, I can't stop. Yeah. Like, what's been the scariest that's, moment on a set for you? That's every single day of my life is that, is I wish that this would stop. Um, I remember, I think every pre-production meeting I go into, I remember distinctly on my, maybe my first or second film, I was in a pre-production meeting and all the, um, the crew were in there and we were going through the pages and the script and I had no idea what I was doing. And I prayed in my head that a truck or a plane or anything would crash into the building and kill us all. So oh, I didn't. Right, so I did not have to do the movie because I didn't know what I was doing. And I think if you ask any any director, there are moments for all of us that are like that where you're just like, I wish, it, like I just wish someone would come in and kidnap me and throw me in the trunk of a car. So no one could ever find me, and that would be a great excuse to not have to work and do this movie, and because I'm too freaked out. Oh well, I'm glad it's worked out, man. I, I know that. I imagine doing the Thor movies puts it into a whole new perspective when you know so many. That is such a big audience. And congrats on the trailer coming out. So I do have to touch on one thing from that trailer, if I may. The most rewatched part of that trailer was the moment where Chris Hemsworth's Thor loses all of his clothing. And that is a surprising moment to see in a Marvel movie. Was there a bit of, did you have to do any convincing to say, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna let him show some skin? Uh, no, we all knew we wanted to do it from very early on. Um, that was in the first draft of the script, actually. And Chris was on board as well. You know, I think when you have a body like Chris, like, you know, even he understands, it's like, it would be just, it would be a waste to not show it off. It would be a crime against humanity. So, you know, it's, you have to provide for the masses. And now we all get the gift. Now we all get the gift.